are going to introduce your live demo session in the following video. The first one will be the privacy mask. You will see how to do the privacy mask with the eye uh, vision on the camera. And the second one will be the fisheye dewarp and the different dewarp mode. And we will also will tell you how to do the micro SD card recording by IE browser and how to do the playback. And there are more about the uh, PDZ preset, tour, auto pen, sequence, tools for the SD220. And there is additional one about the IP cam, the up, up, firmware upgrade. You can get firmware upgrade from IE browser and the GPIP device utility and edit recording manager. Hi, welcome to GeoVision video tutorial. This is Derek. Now we're going to demonstrate uh, privacy mask functions. So what is privacy mask function is? It is used to block out sensitive areas on live view and record clips for camera connecting to GeoVision software. This feature is ideal for location with displays, keyboard sequences, and for anywhere else, anywhere else you don't want your personal information to be visible. So let's get start. Let's get started. First of all, we need to um, open a eye browser. In my case, I'm going to open eye browser because I know I already know the IP address of the camera I'm going to connect it to. So I just type the the IP address of the camera in address in the address bar here, which is 192. The 168. Two and dot one. After typing that, I click enter. Now here is a login interface. Go type your lo login uh, username and the password. After typing that, you click apply. So now camera is connecting to server. This is a live view of the camera I'm currently connecting to. As you can see on your left hand side, there is a motion, there's, there's a video and motion selection. You go click it on, and uh, there's a down, drop down list here. As you can see, there's a privacy message selection here. Go click it on. So connecting to server again. Okay, so in order to uh, enable privacy message function, you have to check this box. So let's go check this box. After you check this box, there is a, a little square icon will be rounding the, your mouse cursor. So you go block uh, out on the image. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, for example, I want to block out this little piece of paper. So I draw a little square here and I click add. And after that, you go click save. Now we're done with the setting. So let's go back to live view and see what's what's going on. And see what's going to happen. So let's go back to live view here and select streaming one. See, this is uh, the area we just block out. This is how you create uh, privacy mask functions. Thank you for watching. I'm Derek. Hi, welcome to Jewel Vision video tutorial. This is Derek. Now we're going to demonstrate uh, fish eye dewapping and show different dewapping mode. First of all, we have to go open an eye browser and type the IP address of the fish eye cameras. In our case, I'm going to type the uh, 192.168.2 and thirteen. Then click enter and go type the lock information and password. Now this is live view of our fisheye camera. To enable the fisheye option, you right click the live view and select Geo Fisheye. And you right click the live view again and you will see uh, there is a fisheye option here and you go camera mode.
as you can see, there are four modes here, and we will go. We'll check out one by one. Let's go for quad view first. Quad view. It is composed of four PDZ view. You can use your mouse cursor to move uh, the live view window, like up and down, left and right, like this, and even you can span the live view window. Not only for this window, but all of these four windows. So you can see, I can spin all of the live view windows, like up and down, left and right. Okay, this is the four quad views. So now let's go for the second mode, which is a 360 degree mode. Um, it is composed of two PDZ views and one 360 degree paranormal view. As I just mentioned, you can use your mouse cursor to move the live view windows, like up and down, left and right, for the top two live view windows. However, however, it is unable to span the bottom live view windows, only for the top two. Okay, let's go for the next one. Next one is a dual 180 degree view. It is composed of two 180 degree views. You can span the window from the left to the right, right to the left. Okay, now let's go for the last mode, which is a single view. This is a single view. This is the last mill. As you can see, there's a little circle at the a, at a right corner bottom. Um, this red circle, like for example, if you uh, click, you can click the, you can use the red, red circle here to go to exactly where you want to go. You can even zoom in and zoom out with the red circle. So for example, I'm going to point out this uh, yellow object and a circle what goes here. And you can uh, execute zoom in or either zoom out. Okay, thank you for watching this video. I'm Derek Ho. Okay, we are going to show you how to configure micro SD card recording via IE interface and playback. Okay, now we log in IE, uh, IE browser for about a GeoVision IPK. After you click apply. Please find a management about a storage setting. After you insert the micro SD card, you, and you should be able to see the disk information about the micro SD card. Then you have to click format before you start recording. Okay. When the format pr process complete, you will see the three partition in the web interface. Okay? So that means your micro SD card is available for the recording right now. Okay? And we will check the monitoring session. You can now start the recording on micro SD card after click start. Okay, now you will see the the red icon is jumping over the disk. That means the recording is is based on the micro SD card record. Okay, okay. So if you want to get the video from the remote site, you have to start remote remote view the privilege for the view log session. So you have to enable this port. 
This is the default remote view log port. Okay, after you click apply, then the remote view log service is, is on. So when you check the remote view log program right now, and you you will be, you will, uh, you will see the remote view log service connection here, and try to get the IP address and IP ID password after you click the same information for about your IP camera after the verification complete, and you click OK, you will get the recording from your micro SD card from the IP camera. So in the right list, you will see the day and time about all the video event from your micro SD card. Okay, that's it. In this session, you will be guided through setup steps for various type of dome view movements, including preset, sequence, cruise, auto pen, and tour. Now we will start from the preset function. After you log in the SD220, please find the PTZ control panel and click the, the option. Find the option panel from the button. Okay, so this is it. we want to start to define the preset function here. Okay, so you can now move the camera by different angle of view from one point. When then we define preset one and move the second point. And we can define it a, a preset two. And we can also define the preset three for the second and three preset point. Now we have three preset position. Now, you can do the different preset together, such as a sequence setting. So please find the option again, and we'll cut, we will start the setup menu, and click open. And you will see the PTD setting about the sequence here. So the sequence setting can be the combination about different presets together. You can define the different speed and the dual time for the for the each other. So they can be a serious preset together. Okay. After you click save, and this preset position will be saved. Okay. So let's run the sequence right now. The auto go and the go sequence one. So there will be the three different pre preset here, like we defined before. Okay, we are going to cover cruise setting and auto pen setting in this session. You can set up a route consisting of different directions angles and the zooms for the GB IP speed on to follow. Up to four cruises can be created. Click option and click auto set and the set cruise one. Set cruise one. So you can start moving the camera and zoom in. and click option to set cruise stop. So auto set, set cruise stop. Now you have defined the cruise one, so you can auto go, find, go cruise one. It will follow the, the route 
that you defined before, including the zooming. Okay, now you can stop the uh, auto auto uh, the, the cruise function by set uh, by the stop all the auto go function. Okay. Auto go, and you can stop auto go function. Now we are talking about the auto pen right now. Okay, the GVIP speed on can pen up to. 360 and this so to survey the horizontal view between two user defined positions you can configure up to S sets of auto pen mode okay to set up an auto pen please find the option click auto set and set auto pen start position now we can start moving the camera and find the second point auto set set auto pen stop position now you did now de you define the auto pen position right now and auto go and go auto pen one so camera will moving between two points so this is the auto pen function. You, and then click auto go. On the very button you will find stop auto go function. In this session, we are going to cover PTZ setting tool function. You can set up your GVIP speed on to move in a combination of preset positions, sequence, cruise, and auto pen. You can configure up to eight tour routes. Okay. Now we find the PTZ configuration. We find a setup. Click open. Now you will see the tour setting here. After you click the tour you will see other functions you can define like a pre PTZ preset, sequence, cruise, and auto pen. So you can define each of them by different sequence. If you click save, now you have all of the PTZ function together and click OK. And start to go the tour function, so auto go and go tour one. It will follow all the settings in the tour position. So that's all about the tour setting. Okay, uh, in this session, we will tell you how to update camera firmware. You can upgrade the firmware by IE browser. Just click the camera configuration. There is a remote configure. So you will see the browse here. Find the camera firmware file. Then you can start to upgrade. And there is a second solution about the firmware upgrade. You can try to scan the IP camera by GVIP device utility and click the camera. You will find the firmware upgrade option over here. So that's all about the firmware upgrade session. Thank you.